Hello everyone, this is Shadat Hussain, software engineer at AppScript. Today I will show you how to manage cloud infrastructure in Kubernetes using Qform. Here is the table of contents that I'm going to cover today. Uh, first of all, I will talk about the Qform and its key features. Then I will briefly explain the Qform architecture. Then we'll move to the demo where we'll see the Qform features. Basically in the demo, we'll see how to create update and delete the cloud provider resources using Qform. And after the demo, I will talk about the upcoming exciting features of Qform. And finally, there will be a question answer session. So you can ask your questions on the given link above on this slide, and I will get back to them in the question answer session. So the first, uh, let's talk about Q Qform. Qform by AppScore is a Kubernetes controller for provisioning and managing cloud or on-prem resources using Terraform providers. Qform provides Kubernetes CRDs for Terraform resources so that you can manage any cloud infrastructure in a Kubernetes native way. You just write a CRD for your cloud infrastructure, then apply it and Qform will create, update, delete that cloud resources according. Qform basically helps you to manage your cloud infrastructure in a Kubernetes native way. Currently, we are supporting six top uh, cloud platforms. These are AWS, Google Cloud, Azure, DigitalOcean, Linode, and Equinix Metal. You can visit github.com slash qform to see all the API CRDs of these cloud providers. The key features of qform, basically qform is a native Kubernetes built on Terraform and it supports the native Kubernetes. It supports Terraform resources, use cloud infrastructure as code, and it manage your infrastructure through a CRD, Kubernetes CRD. Qform support multiple cloud platform, I have said. And recently, Qform have added many features. These are those features, you know, we added uh, in our recent release that term mentioned policy to protect the resource against accidental deletion. You can provide do not terminate as the term mentioned policy field of your resource to prevent accidental deletion. We also added updating update policy features. There are some fields which are mutable and some fields are immutable in cloud provider resources. If we change mutable fields and update the resource, it will get updated just. But if we change an immutable field and update, then the, the existing resource will first get deleted and then it will be created. So before deleting, you have to provide the update policy. If update policy is set to do not destroy, then it will not get destroyed. Qform will give you an error. You have to set to destroy the update policy to delete that resource be before recreating. In this release, we announcing the Qform Enterprise Edition. Currently in the Qform Community Edition, you can do everything that Enterprise Edition does, but you will be limited to only the default namespace. In this release, we have added also support for the Equinix Metal Cloud Provider. We have redesigned the architecture of Qform. Qform controller is now divided into six different controllers, one controller for each cloud provider. And we have removed the dependence on the Terraform CLI. Previously, we used to depend on the Terraform CLI. Uh, from this release, we are not using the Terraform CLI anymore, but we are using the Terraform as kind of like its resources as a library. So you can use Terraform and Qform interchangeably. Qform also have sensitive secret watcher. Whenever there is a change in the sensitive secret, the Qform resource will be reconciled and the resource will be get updated accordingly. That means we do not only watch the CRD, we also watch the sensitive secret. We have added new status and conditions maintaining the Kubernetes case status standard by which we can give more accurate log to the user. 
And also we have added support for dynamically generating Prometheus metrics for the Kubernetes resources. QFM resources have now four phases in progress, which means the resource is now currently reconciling process. And current phase means the resource is reconciled successfully and the corresponding cloud resource is updated. Terminating means the resource is currently in the process of deleting and fail the resource has encountered some kind of error while reconciling. These are the four phase of QFORM resources. We also have added conditions in the QFORM resources. We have built a generator library and by which we automated the code generation process for QFORM. API CRDs and controllers codes are completely automated and API CRDs are open source. You can visit github.com slash QFORM slash provider repo uh, for seeing those APIs and CRDs. As the code generation process is completely automated and we use Terraform providers resources, thus now adding a new cloud provider support in QFORM become more easier. We can even add support for new cloud providers within a couple of hours because we do not need to rewrite everything again from the scratch. So now let's talk about the architecture of QFORM. You can see this is the high level architecture of QFORM. First of all, a user need to create a provider secret. Provider secret basically holds the access credentials of the cloud provider where the resource will be created. Then user can create a sensitive secret with sensitive fields of the cloud resources. Creating, creating sensitive secret is optional for the user. If a user do not create a sensitive secret, then QFORM controller will create a sensitive secret for the user after creating the resource to restore the resource sensitive fields. And basically the QFORM controller continuously watches CRD and sensitive secret. CRD user can create, user need to create CRD of the resource that is specifies the information of the cloud resource. In the CRD user need to point the secrets that they created, like provider secret, sensitive secret. And the queue from, as the queue from continuously watches the CRD and sensitive secret. So if there is any changes or any new changes come to the CRD or sensitive secret, queue from controller will get an event and it will start its reconciling process. The QFORM controller manage the cloud infrastructure. That means it create, update, or delete the respective cloud resources through the resource CRUD API, and it communicates with the cloud providers. In the spec.resource of the CRD, the user provides the respective cloud resource specifications. And in the spec.state, QFORM controller puts the final state of the resource after creating the resource. So this is the high level architecture of the QFORM. So now we can move to the demo. This is my work setup. We can see I'm having kind version 11.1 and Kubernetes version 20.21.1. You can go to this link uh, for the details installation. Basically, In the installation, you have to use helm install command, this one. And by this, you can install a QFORM provider. Here, you have to give the license of QFORM. And also, in the triple star, you can give the provider name. Like for if you want to install the Linode provider controller, then it will be Linode in the triple star. So I have already.
install the respective cloud controllers, provider controllers, and all are running instead. QFORM supports six top cloud providers, but in this demo, we will see two resources of two cloud providers. They are Linode Instance and Equinix Metal Device. Let's move further. Let's start uh, from a Linode Instance. At first, let's look at the Terraform configuration for a Linode Instance. This is the Terraform configuration of Linode Instance. Here, we can see the authentication uh, done here by token this is the linode api token we have to provide and the resources specification are given here image level region and root pass fields now if we apply terraform apply this configuration this configuration will create a linode instance so our task is to create the exact configuration using qform At first, we need to create the CRD of Linode instance. CRD is here. This is the CRD of Linode instance. Uh, I have already installed the CRD of Linode instance. This represents the uh, Linode instance CRD. And then we need to create the Linode provider secret, which holds the credentials. This is the Linode provider secret. You can see the Terraform configuration. Here is done the Linode. Uh, here is given the Linode API token. So we also need to give it, give it in a provider secret secret. So I have already applied the secrets. You can see here the Linode provider secret is uh, currently in my machine. And you can you need to give you Linode API token here and then apply it. And then uh, here we are, we can see a field name root pass. This is the sensitive field. So this kind of fields uh, is not safe to provide in the instance YML. Uh, so we will put them in a sensitive secret field. So this is the sensitive secret field for giving the root pass. Yeah, this fields input, uh, this have to be in the JSON format and the key of this root pass have to be as like this configuration in snake case. So let's apply the sensitive secret. Here in this example, I have said earlier that uh, this sensitive secret creation is optional for the user. In this example, we will see, uh, we will create the sensitive secret and in next example, we will not create and see how our keep from controller create that sensitive secret for us. So let's create the, we can see Linux sensitive secret has been created. Now we need to create the Linode instance. If you map the Linode specification of Linode instance here, you can see this. This is, the, this is our Linode instance YML. You can see this in under the resource key, we put uh, the specifications of the Linode instance. Here are region, image, and level are given. And uh, in the same level of resource, we have given provider ref, secret ref, uh, provider if pointing the Linode provider secret that we have created and uh, secret ref pointing the Linode sensitive secret and termination policy and update policy is the two features of Linode uh, QFORM and we have talked about it earlier. So termination policy is given do not terminate and update policy is given do not destroy. We'll see what they do. So let's apply the instance. Here we are watching the our instance. You can see the instance is in progress phase. And this is the conditions of our instance. And the message is given that QFORM is currently reconciling our resource. And if we go to the dashboard, we can see that uh, same name as the QFORM demo that we have given here. The name is QF, level is QFORM demo is currently in 
creating it is currently provisioning you can see this and the resource is in progress phase it will take a few seconds maybe It is now booting. Yeah, it is running perfectly. So you can see the Linode instance phase is current. I have said earlier that if the reconciling process finished successfully, then the phase will be current. So the phase is now current and there is no conditions. It is successful. So as we have given a uh, root pass as a sensitive secret, so will verify whether this root pass worked perfectly or not by doing SSH into our VM or Linode instance. So let's enter that VM by doing an SSH. Yeah, we have successfully entered. That means our password, uh, which we have given in the sensitive secret, worked perfectly. And our Linode instance is in running state. So the creation has been done successfully. Now we need to update the Linode instance. For updating the instance, we will modify the existing instance YML and we will use a different level. Uh, let's say it changed the level from QFOM demo to QFOM demo update and then apply it again. Here, this level field is mutable field. I took, I talked about it before. There are some fields which are mutable and there are some fields which are immutable. So this mutable field, that means if you update this level field, it won't get deleted first. It will only just update it. So let's see. It configured. So now queue form instance is in progress phase. Let's refresh it. Yeah, it's already in current phase. It didn't take too much time. So we have seen the level field uh, by changing the level field, the resource get updated. And we can also see here, we are also currently in the enter mode. We are in the uh, Linode instance. And we didn't get out from this because the instance is previous one, just the level field have changed. So that proves that it didn't get deleted. Now the feature of uh, QFOM sensitive secret watcher, we are going to see how it works. Uh, we have changed the level field of the instance YML. That means we have changed the CRD field, but we didn't change the sensitive secret field, which we said that it will also be watched by the controller. Let's change our password to see whether our sensitive secret watcher feature works perfectly or not. Let's apply it again the sensitive secret configured and here we the interesting part we can see that the linode instance phase is now failed and if we see the message of the reason of the stalled the message is showing that update policy is set to do not destroy that means root pass is an immutable field if you change root pass field then the resource will first get deleted and then again recreated with your latest changes so but we have provided update policy do not destroy that means we are using update policy feature as a do not destroy mode that means the controller will not allow it to delete first that's why it is showing the error and it is now in failed state so here we have two options in this scenario we can either revert our changes or we can 
change the update policy from do not destroy to destroy. So we will see both of them. If we revert our changes and again apply, the resource will be fine and the resource won't get updated. It just only came from fail to current state. Let's apply it. Configured. It is in progress phase. And the resources have come in phase current. So this is this is the one option. And another option, again, we can let's change it. And we'll see the second option. Again, it is in failed phase. And now we will change the update policy from do not destroy to destroy. We can use it by QCDL patch command. So it passed successfully. Now it is in phase, terminating phase. That means as the update policy changed, it is applying the changes of root pass. So it first it is going, it is in terminating phase and we can see the connection has closed because the resource has get deleted and it will be recreated again. And if you see this, there is no resource currently because it get deleted. Yeah, this one is previous one. So in progress state, that means the resource is creating, uh, it has come, this is the, it is again in provisioning state. And here the phase is in progress because we have changed the update policy from do not destroy to destroy by give pseudo patch. And after when this is, is come to running state, we will check again by entering uh, the Linux VM or instance doing SSH with our latest password that whether it worked fine or not. It is in booting state. Yeah, it came to running state and the phase is in is current. So let's do SSH and try to enter with our latest. Okay. Yeah, it took a little bit time. This is the password. Yeah, we can enter by doing SSH to our Linux instance by our latest password. So the Linux sensitive secret watcher worked fine. Now we have seen how to create and how to update. And also we have seen uh, the sensitive secret watcher feature. Let's delete the resource. To delete the instance, you need to use QCDL delete command. Here we are seeing an error. Uh, this error saying that uh, the QFORM instance, the name of this instance, can be terminated to delete, change the spec, the termination policy to delete. That means we have used termination policy as do not terminate. This is also a feature of QFORM. If we use 
uh, do not terminate as the termination policy then if we apply the delete but it won't get deleted because it prevent the accidental deletion it thought that you are deleting it accidentally so to delete the resource you have to change this termination policy from do not terminate to delete so let's change this uh, termination policy from do not terminate to delete by again give serial patch command from instance yeah it best it will first come to the current phase then we again need to delete uh, apply the delete command this time delete command will delete the resource you can see the current phase so now if we apply kfctl delete it will be deleted you can see the command is not exited until the resource get deleted it is in terminating phase and here if you refresh the cloud dashboard it's gone it is also currently in terminating phase yeah, the resource has gone and the command has successfully completed. So we have seen how to create, update and delete the Linode instance by QFORM. Now we will see uh, another example, which is A uh, Lino uh, Equinix metal device. We'll create a Equinix metal device and see how it works with QFORM. This is the Terraform configuration for a Equinix metal device. If we apply this configuration again, it will create an Equinix metal device and we are going to do the same thing by qform so again the crd and provider secret has been created before you can see this is the crd which representing the device crd and this is the equinix metal secret the in equinix metal provider secret we give uh, the auth token this field the value of provider key need to be in JSON format and the key auth token need to be in snake case as like the Terraform configuration. So these are applied before. Now we will create the Equinix metal device. You can see the same thing that under the resource key, we have provided the specification of the Equinix metal device, host name, plan, metro, operating system, billing cycle, project ID. And in the provider ref, we pointed to the provider secret. And in termination policy, we use delete and update policy, we use destroy. So let's apply this. And this is the dashboard of Equinix Metal device. And here is the workstation for Equinix Metal. We are watch continuously watching the Equinix Metal resource condition and the uh, Equinix Metal device. Now let's apply it. It's created and the resource is currently in progress. If we re refresh this, you will see that. It will come, yeah. It has come. And the name of the Equinix host name of Equinix Metal devices, we used QFORM demo. So that is showing here in the cloud dashboard. And the resource is in progress. It takes one or two minutes. There one thing I want to mention that you can go to the QFORM github.com slash QFORM slash provider Linode API to see the Linode APIs and also CRDs and clients which are 
open source fully and this is the APIs of Equinix Metal device. We can see the code which are generated. This is the types.go for Equinix Metal device. These are all generated code. So it is also currently in progress phase. Here you can see the progress. It's almost done. We have said that in, in the sequence metal device, we didn't create the sensitive secret. So Q from controller will create a sensitive secret for us. Currently there is no sensitive secret. It will get, it will be created after the resource get created. Yeah, the resource has been successfully created and the phase is current. You can see this, the Q from controller created a sensitive secret for this Q from device. Uh, for uh, the Equinix metal device, though we didn't create that. So that's, that's the thing that we have said that it is optional for the user. So now let's update it. Now we are going to update a field that is immutable. The operating system field is an immutable field. So if we change this, the behavior is first, it will get deleted and then it will created again. But here we have used termination uh, update policy to destroy. That means at this time, we won't get any error. It will first get deleted and then recreated without asking our approval because we already give it to destroy in the update policy field. Let's apply it. It's configured. You can see this, the phase is terminating and it deleted very fast and it came to again in progress state because it is recreating this you can see here the view progress another thing is uh linux secret we have seen the sensitive secret get deleted after the resource get deleted. So this is here also, we will see that when the resource get deleted, this uh, sensitive secret also will get deleted. in progress state. is taking a bit time. Let's wait to the resource get in phase current. Yeah.
Yeah. The resource have come in current phase. That means it successfully get deleted and then again recreated. So now let's delete the resource. Now the resource is in, in being terminating phase and it already get deleted. Now we from validation we didn't stop us before the deleting the resource because we have provided the termination policy to delete. So it get deleted successfully. Uh, these are the examples from me here. So the, let's talk about upcoming features. Uh, we are going to integrate some exciting features in QFORM. Uh, these are the support for remote backend. Uh, the resource in the if we you integrate the remote backend support, then the uh, user can uh, maintain the state resource state remote. Uh, QFORM can maintain the re resource state remotely, such as like Google bucket, Amazon S3 bucket, etc. And we also are going to integrate a CLI command uh, to generate CLI by which we are going to generate Terraform files from the QFORM resources. And also a CLI command to check the execution plan of the QFORM resources. And another exciting feature is halt and resume resources. Uh, in this feature, you can keep the resource in the Kubernetes, but terminates the actual cloud resource. And then when you need to this create the resource again, then you can resume the. That means you can halt and resume the resource in the Kubernetes. And finally, we are going to integrate with kubedb. kubedb is a product of fscode that simplifies and automates routine database tasks, uh, such as provisioning, patching, backup, recovery, failure detection, and repair for various popular databases on private and public clouds. You can see the fscode.com for more about the, all the products of fscode. So this is from me. That's all from my side. Uh, if you have any question, you can ask. Uh, you should be able to uh, unmute yourself and uh, uh, ask questions. So actually, I have a question. So. Uh, uh, how, how is this controller implemented? Are you using something like Kubler or is it like some custom framework that you are using? We are using Kubler controller. Uh, we have developed our controllers by using Kubler. So it looks like uh, there is no more question. Uh, I don't see any questions in the Zoom. Um, was there any question in the, uh, in the Q and A section? The... There is also no other question in the Q and A section as well. Okay. So it seems our presentation was so good that no one has any questions. Uh, so thank you everybody uh, for joining. Uh, if you have any further question, you can always email us hello at appscore.com or you can follow our uh, Twitter channel at uh, Qform. Uh, we'll, we keep uh, po uh, you know, posting when uh, there's an update on the project. Uh, you can go to the website to read the documentation. Uh, you can also follow our uh, GitHub organ, uh, pro repo to see the available source code and kind of the details of the various CRDs or custom resources that have been auto-generated. Uh, so thanks for uh, joining our webinar today. Uh, see you next time. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, everybody.